through the late 80s, it got really, really competitive. They were real pressure cookers. It got pretty bad towards the end. Everybody was disgusted. Pacific Halibut Commission had a fixed quota that they thought that the uh, resource could sustain. Since they couldn't manipulate the numbers of fishermen, they had to manipulate the time that they had to fish. So, and there was many thousands, I, at least 5,000 participants in these, uh, we call them derbies. Derbies were, they were a real endurance thing. You know, you'd have to stay up for a few days and the you know, whole decks are full of fish and nobody sleeps and all that stuff. You were being forced to fish where you didn't even want to fish because there's a lot of boats in the area. So you always had to just pick a uh, Loran line to set down and uh, it got really, really hectic. The whole boat would be full of fish. I mean, they'd be everywhere. All the decks are loaded and they're not really getting cleaned and uh, you just want to get as much as you can in the, in the time you had, you know. So you just ran as much gear as you could and, and they just sit on deck, not clean for a day. And some guys didn't even clean them until they got to town. And then they'd start cleaning them and, you know, it'd be two, couple, three days before they got cleaned and that's really bad for the fish. And then they'd sit at the cold storage because they couldn't process them all for days. I mean, it would be like a week before they even got frozen or anything. Had this uh, IFQ program not come in, um, the openings would have gotten even shorter, 12 hours or six hours or whatever, you know. Well, during the derby days, we probably averaged a dollar a pound. And now, uh, this year, we're getting about four, over four bucks, maybe five in some places for, for a halibut. So it's been kind of a slow, gradual increase every year uh, since IFQs went in place. I think the markets have gotten, you know, we've been able to get better markets and the quality of the fish has helped. The biggest thing about about the success of the program is the ability to bring in better quality fish and, and, and selling and selling a high-end fish and then that's basically tripled our price in these fisheries and that's what's really really made it a good a good operation or a good a good program. Under this uh, IFQ system we have the luxury of time to to uh, tweak our operations so that we can uh, do the best job we can, um, both for quality of product and for the conservation of the resource. It's good for the fishermen. I think it allows more, a lot more planning in your season. You can kind of build a business or plan your business and that kind of stuff. I'm not competing against a bunch of other boats or competing against the weather. I can go, I can go choose, my, choose when to make my trips, where to make my trips, base it on weather and market conditions, and it's worked out really well for me. Built my business up to where I'm happy and you know, maybe someday I can retire now and have something to, a business that I've built and pass on to maybe somebody. It does seem to be working. It's working for us.